I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. It's me, Sailor Mini Moon Rainy here. And today I'm going to do, well, today we're going to review Backlash. Well, Backlash first started out with the Backlash kickoff show with um, Tyler, De Ty Derringer bursting Adrian English. Now, this match had came out as a result of two other matches on SmackDown Live that both Ty Derringer won. Now, I felt this match was really good. You know, I enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people are going to have their opinion on it. But I felt it was a really good match. And I thought it was, you know, I enjoyed it. And Ty Derringer defeats Adrian English again. Or Adrian Anglish, if you could also say that, too, if you wanted Anyway, and then it was Backlash itself, starting out with Sense, Sensei Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler. Really good match, you know, I enjoyed it. Thought the Sensei Nakamura did very well in his first, you know, main roster match. And I felt that Dolph Ziggler did very well in this match too. And of course, there were many times in this match where a lot of people actually thought that, um, Dolph Ziggler was going to win, but and there was other times in a match you find Sensei Nakamura was going to win. At the end, Sensei Nakamura defeats Dolph Ziggler. Really good match. I enjoyed it. Not many people are going to uh, have their different opinion on it. After that, then our next match we had. Trying to oh yeah, it was fun. It was Breeze Dongo. With Tyler Breeze and Fandango bursting Jimmy and Jay Uso for a WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now this match was was really hilarious, and I'll tell you why. Because first Dolph Sig, because first Tyler Breeze goes as a janitor until he's beat up and the moth broken. Then he goes as old woman until eventually his cane's knocked away, and then eventually his glasses and wig are knocked off. And then. That, that was the funny part of the match when he started doing all that. And it was a really good tag team match. And I enjoyed it. You know, I think Fandango and Tyler Breeze, you know, they have not been together that long. I think they worked very well. And I think that they did very well. And this was a really good tag team match. You know, there were a lot of, you know, there were a lot of times we fought one side had a one. And our side had it won. Well, at the end, Jimmy and Jay Uso defeat Tyler Breeze and Fandango and retain the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Then it was Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. And this was a really good match. So I know there's going to be people who claim that when you put a big person in a ring with a little person, you don't get a good match. Well, that's what they'll, that's what their opinion is. Now, and I felt that Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin worked very well together. I enjoyed the match. You know, there were a lot of times where you thought it was over for Sami Zayn, but at the end, Sami Zayn comes back. Every time Baron Corbin tried to keep him down, he was always coming back with something. So at the end, Sami Zayn defeats Baron Corbin. I really enjoyed that match. I thought it was good. Then after that, we had... Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Naomi Uso take on Natalia Neidhart, Tamina Snuka, and Carmella. Really good tag team, really good women's match. You know, a lot of people are going to complain. They're going to they're gonna say, oh, well, they're going to say they didn't like it. You know how these people are like. But I felt it was really good. And I felt they all, it was a really good match, and they did a good job in it. And at the end, it was uh, Natalia and I hard, Tamina Snook and Carmella defeating Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Naomi Uso. Then after that, after that, we had AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for a WWE United States Championship. AJ Styles and Kevin Owens worked very well in this match. There were a lot of times where you felt you thought AJ Styles had it won. Yeah, many times. But at the end, AJ Styles lost by count out. And uh, 
Kevin Owens wins, retained of the United States Championship. Now, people are going to complain about the count out, of course. You know, they're going to complain about how he got his foot caught in the ropes of the announce table, you know, the wires announce table. They're going to complain about that, you know, guarantee you. But I felt it was a really good match. Then after that, we had Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan. Really good match, and I enjoyed it. I felt they worked very well together. You know, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan used to have been NXT Tag Team Champions at one point. So they're both familiar with each other. And I really felt they did a really good job. You know, they did. It was a good match. Luke Harper defeats Eric Rowan. Then we had Randy Orton versus Ginger Mahal for a WWE Heavyweight Championship. Really good match. There were a lot of times in this match where Randy Orton would kick out of Ginger Mahal's pins and submission, and Randy Orton would try to pinfall Ginger Mahal. He'd kick out, he'd try to submit him, and he wouldn't submit. He'd find a way out. You know, a lot of those near falls going on where you thought that Randy Orton was going to retain, you thought Ginger Mahal was going to win. I'm sure a lot of people probably fought the other. But surprise on this one. Ginger Mahal defeats Randy Orton and becomes the new WWE Heavyweight Champion, the first Hindu to ever hold that belt. Um, so anyway, I thought that backlash was really good. I felt the kickoff match and all the other matches on the show itself were good, and I enjoyed them. You know, that's it. Hope you enjoyed backlash too. I'm Salem Mini Moon Rini, and I'll see you tomorrow.